Get three coffins ready. Uh, huh? Adios, amigo. Listen, stranger. Can you get the idea? We don't like to see bad boys like you in town. Go get your mule. <laughs> you let him get away from you? <laughs> yeah, see, that's what I want to talk to you about. He's feeling real bad. Huh? <laughs> I don't think it's nice, you laughing. See, my mule don't like people laughing. It's the crazy idea you're laughing at him. Now, if you apologize like I know you're going to, I might convince him that you really didn't mean it. place viewers where you'll need coffins is if you're riding around in M113s. Hey the viewers, Lance Corbett Joe Hartley here, World Renowned Combat Mission Expert and Guide. I'm bringing you another episode in Combat Mission Cold War. Rather than uh, do a scenario, what we're going to do is uh, test the uh, survivability of uh, troops inside the M113. And the background to this is a video by um, Grey Fox Gaming and an episode by uh, Usually Hapless. I've both observed um, troops inside uh, an M113 can be uh, uh, wounded or killed by um, small arms fire and grenades uh, and obviously from RPGs um, fired at them. So that's what our test uh, today will be. Stick with me and we'll explore just how troops uh, can survive inside a boxy coffin. I will put in the uh, description below the uh, links uh, to the Great Fox Gaming and the uh, usually hapless um, episodes where they observe uh, uh, troops inside the M113 getting uh, hammered. Um, what you see on the screen now is just a bit of fun. Uh, obviously, it's not the tests because. Um, RPGs are flying, grenade launchers are flying, and uh, M113s are burning. But just a bit of fun to get us started. And in this first sequence, we'll just test the uh, rear uh, armor of the M113s, uh, loaded with our uh, squads. We've uh, got three casualties. Death in the crew, and the A113 takes off pretty quick. And in the second example, again we've got the, the uh, one of the squad members get on the 50, and immediately gets uh, terminated with uh, extreme prejudice. Can't tell whether the uh, bullets are ricocheting inside the uh, vehicle or um, coming through the hatch. And so we move to our second test and. Uh, the target arc on the uh, M113. Small arms fire is penetrating the rear of that uh, steel beast and uh, inflicting uh, several casualties. And here again we see uh, small arms fire, grenades, um, inflicting damage on the uh, headquarters team uh, sitting inside the uh, M113. In this sequence we see the HQ team, the Zero team, and take casualties. Both observers are wounded. Pinned inside the M113. And the squad wounded in a casualty. 
straight through the armor. Grenades seem to be uh, penetrating the rear armor of the uh, M113. That's another two dead. That is the uh, proof that the um, grenade is exploding inside the M113. Grenades causing casualties, small arms fire. That uh, bullet just went straight through that M113. Caused the casualty. Grenade exploding inside the vehicle. The roof sometimes of the M113 is open if the uh, crew is uh, exposed. The uh, M113 has a large top hatch separate from the uh, 50 cal. Surely that uh, the programming uh, modeling of this vehicle has that uh, closed. Yeah, the M113 racks off, and here's that uh, bullet penetrating the M113 going straight through. And the grenade exploding inside the uh, vehicle. And again we have a uh, squad inside the M113, single casualty, from exploding grenade. Another casualty from the grenade. Casualty. And here's the grenade exploding and the uh, casualty being recorded. And just for a bit of fun, we're backing up the M113 onto the uh, Russian squad. They have an RPG, but they've got uh, grenades. Small arms fire. Another grenade, casualty. I think the small arms caused the casualty. The grenade uh, came second, but it did score some of its own uh, casualties, I think. Here we are, the proof. The M113 uh, typically has Stanag level uh, armor protection level 2. This means that it should be protected um, all around against uh, small arms fire. From AK uh, 74. Uh, 5.54 and the uh, AK 47 7.62, as well as from the POG uh, 25 uh, grenades that the uh, Russian troops uh, use, which are only um, high explosive, not armor um, penetrating. And we can see in this sequence um, the uh, squaddy there reloading his unslung uh, grenade launcher getting hits and uh, causing casualties. Don't think uh, VOG 25 grenades should be able to uh, do that. But what is it like inside the M113 you ask? Let's have a look. Let's go here. Two casualties. Grenade is exploding. Smoke penetrates the hole. Not sure if that's an accurate part of the modeling. More casualties from the grenade. This means do not drive the uh, M113 down the uh, crowded streets. And here, um, MG fire is penetrating the uh, M113 from the side and here. Grenade exploding inside the vehicle. Could be just graphics, could be the modeling. We need uh, Battlefront to uh, explain what's happening here. Beautifully modeled interior though. It's exquisite in the uh, colors and the detail provided. Another grenade, another death. The HQ team is the survivor, starts the observer team. So viewers, you tell me, is the M113 properly modelled? Give us a like, comment and subscribe and we'll see you in the next one.